Hi, Matt Welsh here from AutoCoach, wanting to show you a quick little video on pace test. Now, pace test can be used basically to custom make a beep test for your swimmers in the pool. And uh, I've got a quick video to show you. We've made it a little bit tricky for the swimmers, but I'll show you exactly how to uh, set it up. Right here, I've got um, it in, I've turned on the, uh, the watch and got it in pace test mode. I can change the cycle. We're gonna start on 50 seconds, which is gonna be pretty quick to start with. Um, I've got them five seconds apart, and I'm gonna have three swimmers. I can also change the descent. So I'm gonna do that now. I'm gonna turn, uh, the mode into uh, into setup, and I'm going to uh, scroll down to our paste stop. Now it's set as default as one second. I'm going to make it really hard on these guys and drop it to three seconds. So what that means is we're going to start off on um, on 50 seconds. The next one's going to drop three seconds down to 47, and down to 44, 41, etc. So they're going to run out of time very very quickly. But it will be a very good test. So let's see how the swimmers go. We're going to do 50s now. What's going to happen, I'm going to start on 50 seconds, just like you've done, but each, each repetition is going to drop by three seconds. So next one's going to be four, 47, next one's going to be 43. Yeah, you get it? Okay. So this is a test, so. Okay, cool. So what I've done here is this is a thing called a pace test. And this is something really unique. And I know that we used to do this and my coach used to hate the maths behind this. Now you can change all of the settings on this, but the basic gist is this is level one. It's basically like a beep test for the pool. So, lap, so level one is on 50 seconds. I've chosen 50 seconds because I know they can do that. And I can descend that each cycle by half a second up to five seconds in half second increments. So now I've got these guys, I've thought three seconds, that'll drop down pretty quickly. And this is a really good test set. You know, a lot of coaches want to know a test set to see where their swimmers are, to see what their fitness is like and where they are in the, in the program. Level, uh, we're coming up to um, here. So lap two. Go on that. The next one, this one's on 47. So when they come in now, they'll have a little bit less rest. So they're going to have to get speeding up really quickly and we'll probably get a few dropping off after a few 50s. So you can do this obviously in swimming, in kick, in whatever works for you. So, I don't know if anyone's tried to do this sort of thing before, but the maths is terrible. And everyone, li everyone likes the idea, but you've got to go, hang on, we're going on the 27 now. No, hang on, it's the 24. No. So, this does it all for you. All the maths for you. And then they'll know next time. They'll say, look, last time we did the test set, and I do this, I do some work at Genizano uh, with Gen Aquatic. And we do this, we start at about 110 for kick or a minute for swim, and we drop it down by one second. And so the guys will know, oh, I made it to level 22 last time. Let's see if I can make it further on. And so it, it becomes, we call it the king of the hill. And I know um, Vic Center do it as well. And, you know, there's a lot of pride on that. I know um, when they do it at Vic Center, Mac Horton wins all the time. But uh, as you'd expect. But, um, but, you know, there's still a lot of pride. And there's still, you know, you can really test how you're going. So we would do test sets of 7100s and all this sort of stuff. And there are a lot of test sets out there. But this is a great one. It's fun for the kids and they get a real sense of accomplishment because they can see their result up on the board as they come in. So now you can see this one's on 44. So we're coming up to 40 seconds now, so they've only got four seconds rest. And away we go.